Welcome to a new question of the day. Most questions we asked so far required that we explore data sets to extract information which was more or less targeted. Today we move to whole new types of questions one may ask in a world of data. Questions which can be answered by yes or no. Questions that help make a precise decision. For instance, should we focus our marketing campaigns on Plutonian customers rather than on the others? How can we give statistical support for this decision? Make way for statistical tests. Do you remember our video on scatter plots? We explored data relative to a sample of customers from an online shoe store. This chart represents invoice amounts according to origin and time spent on the websites. Here are a few statements we had following our explorations. Invoice amount decreases according to time spent on the websites. Plutonians spend more money than the other customers. These statements can be considered as hypotheses. They can be reshaped into questions whose answer is yes or no. It is obviously possible to compute simple numbers to answer these questions. The second question can be addressed by getting the invoice amount averages and comparing these averages. A statistical test will provide support to the answer and help us make a decision. Every statistical test involves two opposite hypotheses, the null hypothesis, H0, and the alternative hypothesis, H1, or HA. H0 often implies an idea of equality or of no effect. In our case, we would say, the average invoice amount of Plutonians is equal to the average invoice amount of the other customers. In contrast, HA implies an idea of difference. HA is often the hypothesis we want to demonstrate. The average invoice amount of Plutonians is different from the average invoice amount of the other customers. A statistical test produces a number ranging between 0 and 1, the famous p-value. This number helps us make a decision regarding the null and alternative hypotheses and answer our initial question. We won't go into computing details. The p-value is the risk we take of being wrong if we decide to reject H0 and accept HA. If we obtain a p-value of 0.02, we take a 2% chance of being wrong when stating that there is a difference between the averages. If the risk is low enough in our eyes, we decide to adopt the result and, consequently, focus our marketing campaigns on Pluto. The p-value is often compared to a risk threshold called alpha. If the p-value is lower than alpha, we decide to reject H0. Alpha is defined by you and depends on the degree of severity you want to have in your decision-making policy. Imagine a case where being wrong could cause serious consequences, like allocating a big budget to the wrong customer target base. If you'd rather not make any decision at all, rather than potentially make the wrong one, you should be decreasing alpha. After this brief theoretical overview of statistical testing, it is now time to illustrate things with an example. In an upcoming question of the day, we will ask if the average weight of muffins produced in a factory is different to a standard. The question can be answered by yes or no. If you have any questions regarding statistical testing theory, please ask them in the comments below. See you soon.